Top one, Skyhawk pitcher Ryan Didfirth gets the called third strike to end the inning and strand a runner. Bottom of the first, Ramsey native Isaac Pavlik sends Sussex down in order for the Jackals. New Jersey puts two men aboard to start the second, but Kevin Rio starts a 6-4-3 double play to help the Skyhawks get out of it. Bottom two, Sussex cleanup hitter Jay Bergeron shatters his bat, but gets the first hit of the season for the Skyhawks anyway. Scott Grimes is the only returning regular for the Skyhawks. Here he shows why. He doubles into right center field as Bergeron stops at third base. And Sussex does get a run on the RBI ground out by Matt Seriani. one nothing Skyhawks after two innings. Top three now, Francisco Leandro of the Jackals hits one down the right field line and into the corner. He tries to stretch it into a triple, but the Skyhawks make the play and they cut him down at third base. It's still 1-0 heading to the bottom of the fourth when Rob Gandolfo gets the Skyhawks started with a little soft single into center field. Two batters later, B.J. Richmond will smack one down the right field line for an extra base hit. Gandolfo, who was on second, comes in to score easily. Meantime, Richmond rounds second base too far, and he gets caught in a rundown. It's 2-0 Skyhawks, but the base running blunder cost them a chance for some more runs. Skyhawks starter Ryan Ditforth kept sailing along. He retires the side 1-2-3 in the fifth with some defensive help. Isaac Pavlik kept Sussex off the board in his last two innings of work, so it stays 2-0 at the end of six. Top seven now, Ryan Ditforth finishes off his night with the strikeout. Ditforth allowed just four hits and no runs in seven innings. Randolph native Michael Vaccaro comes in to pitch for the Jackals in the seventh. He keeps Sussex at bay with two strikeouts. Secaucus product Mike Hartung pitches the eighth for the Skyhawks and gets a 1-2-3 inning. The nice catch at third base by Mike Scanzano. Bottom eight, Jay Bergeron hits one well for the Skyhawks, but it settles into the left fielder's glove on the warning track. So we go to the top of the ninth. One-time New Jersey Cardinal Zach Smithlin jumps on the pitch by Skyhawk closer Fernando Rijo. A double for Smithlin, and the Jackals have some life. Now with one out, first baseman Bergeron makes the nice play on the bouncer. He gets the out at first. The run does score to make it 2-1, to one, but now the Skyhawks just one out from victory. But Alex Frazier has other ideas. He jumps on Rijo's next pitch and drills it all the way out of the ballpark. A stunning home run to tie the game at two. Sussex goes quietly in its half of the ninth inning, so this game will go to extra innings tied two to two. It doesn't stay tied for long. The first batter for the Jackals in the tenth, Judd Thigpen, drills one that just barely clears the fence in left field. The solo homer for Thigpen makes it 3-2 Jackals. The Skyhawks get a runner in the bottom of the 10th, but the game ends on the force out, and Sussex loses a heartbreaker on opening night, 3-2 in 10 innings. You think your closer's coming in there and just, you know, lights out with what we've seen in spring training, and, you know, all of a sudden, a fastball hitter runs into a fastball. You know, you can't let these guys get to you when you got them down, and we let them get to us. It's a tough one to lose, especially in later innings like that, when you play well throughout seven innings, play seven innings strong, and then it's just tough either way you look at it, any way you go. Well, he didn't get the win, but Skyhawks starting pitcher Ryan Ditfer certainly deserved it. He went seven shutout innings, only allowing four hits. That's why I put him in the number one slot. I mean, he's going to be a, a great sinker ball. He's going to get a lot of ground balls. You know, we've got a great defense on the infield. You know, overall, it comes down to one pitch, and you hate to say it because you lost the game for one pitch, but that's what happened. The only returning regular in the Skyhawks lineup is Scott Grimes, the left fielder. He had a good game here tonight with a couple of doubles. Feel good right now. Team's good. Everything's going good right now. I feel pretty comfortable right now. Still working some kinks out like always. It's early, but just like the whole team's working kinks out. So we'll get there. No big deal. Just one game. We got plenty more to go. There's a guy who's got sneaky power for you. Um, a guy who's going to hit the ball uh, in the gaps. He can run well as well. Um, and I base that team around uh, a lot of speed as well. We've got to get on base to use it, but, uh, you know, in certain situations, we've got to know what to do as well. So, um, Scotty, you know, what can I say? I, I love the kid. I mean, that's why I brought him back. You know, he's one of three guys that are here from last year. So he'll do well for us as well.